Hey YouTube, um, as I promised to uh, Dagger the other day, my next review, The Sangre de Toro by Jesus Fuego. Now, um, first off, I want to start off by saying that J. Fuego cigars, in my experience, have all been very, very flavorful while still maintaining a reasonable MSRP for customers who want to enjoy a very good cigar and not have to pay out of their ass for it. Um, we're going to go with the Toro size, which happens to be my favorite in this cigar. Now, I have smoked this numerous times before, um, and I chose to do this review because I would like to smoke part of this in the video and tell you flavors that I'm getting right off the bat. But I do know how it finishes, so the lack of my ability to edit at this point in time kind of hinders the fact, you know, you, you guys don't need to sit here and watch me smoke a cigar for an hour and a half. I mean, shit, it's hard enough sitting here at work watching people smoke, so I digress. First off, this is a very beautifully made cigar that burns very well right off the bat. I use a soft flame lighter, my Zycar, which is also my pipe lighter. Seems to work just fine. Um, the wrapper leaf on this is a Nicaraguan Colorado wrapper leaf. And the Sangre de Toro happens to be bull's blood, which has no fanciful romantic meaning to it at all. It's just bull's blood, referring to the tobacco used. Um, the cigar features a Nicaraguan Criollo binder and a Nicaraguan Criojo and Criollo filler. So it's a 50-50 fill. Puts off a lot of smoke. This cigar on the pre-light draw and the foot aroma is really, really chocolatey and sweet. It just, it almost tickles your nose. Um, a little bit of pepper off the first draw. And on the retro hail, it always makes my eyes water definite pepper, a little bit of chocolate and some soft earthy soil, kind of loamy, mossy, really pleasant. Um, I've actually, I've actually met Jesus Fuego before and uh, I'm, I, I'm not a name dropper so I'm not going to spend my whole video talking about how Jesus and I are best friends and you know we hang out all the time and He's just a nice guy. He owns a very nice company. Um, Jesus came up with the Vintage 90 and 92 from Rocky Patel. And um, unfortunately, Jesus and Rocky parted ways kind of on a sour note. So Rocky and Jesus really don't have that much to do with each other anymore from what I've heard. I try not to talk about work with these guys. Usually just talk about how much I like their cigars and stories. He's a really nice, nice guy. Um, I actually had my first one of these with Jesus the first time I met him. <clears throat> you really can't beat how, how great this industry is. It allows you to meet owners and reps and people that just really stand behind their product and really love it. Really pleasant. Um, every time I have this cigar, I pick out almost a, it's like a nutty roasted coffee flavor and it's really nice. And there's always that beautiful Nicaraguan black pepper that's over top and it's such a smooth smoke. It's such a, such an oily mouth feel. It's really thick and I've heard some reviewers use the term chewy. Um, it just means that the smoke's got some sustenance to it. I mean, you almost feel like you're eating a meal um, really can't complain. As you can see, the burn's still really nice. I mean, 
from a, it's from a soft flame lighter, that tends to be a problem. Um, and more so in the Maduros and the box press, you get that really uneven burn profile and you really have to watch it and touch it up. But um, this, this cigar has some fairly heavy veins. It's hard to see on my POS phone camera, but there's a vein, main vein here that runs through. But to be completely honest with you, I'd rather see some veins in my wrapper leaf because it gives the smoke some character. Um, I I hate seeing the stuff that makes it you know makes it look like it wasn't made by hand. I hate seeing stuff that looks almost mechanical. Um, I'm a huge guy for construction. The, the cap is beautifully put on. Um, the wrapper is a nice solid color. A little toothy, somewhat actually somewhat smooth. Nothing uh, nothing too bumpy. Um, but yeah, the band, I mean, the band's simple, which I talked to Jesus about that, and I told him, you know, one thing I can appreciate about your smokes is you keep a simple band, you know? I hate these bands that go the half length of my cigar and are meant to bedazzle me with their beauty because it's nice to see some craftsmanship in a band, but at the same time, let the smoke talk for itself. You don't need a goddamn $300 band to make me want to smoke your cigar. Like Macanudo and their their um, their gold rings on their limited reserve. I'm, I'm not too familiar with Macanudo, so forgive me if I butcher this, but they're a very, very dark Maduro that we get in a small flat box that we haven't had in forever. But um, they have a big gold ring on them. And, I mean, presentation means a lot, but at the same time, I'd rather see somebody take less time on the packaging and the marketing of their product and really just let their product speak words. Sorry, let their product speak for them. 10 o'clock in the morning, I sound like a goddamn retard. Sorry, don't mean to offend anybody, but that's how it goes. Um, Yeah, consistently, this it has such a beautiful flavor to it. It's somewhat, it's, it's a medium to full-bodied smoke. So don't don't kid yourselves if you think that this is a this is a mild special, especially packing that Nicaraguan Criollo and Criollo filler or Corojo and Criollo. It will, it will put your dick in the dirt if you're not careful. Uh, full stomachs recommended on a smoke like this, um, but. Unfortunately, I smoke a lot of cigars. Um, I'm around a lot of smoke, working at the store. It's nice, to an extent, you know, to be able to have smokes readily available, but it's somewhat unhealthy for you. Um, I do poop coal regularly, so my body processes the smoke. And I'm actually uh, starting my own steel mill. If I can make the fuel for free, just fell off on the table. Luckily, I'm the one that has to clean that, so we won't worry about it right now. Usually with uh, Jesus' smokes, the ash is a little more delicate as opposed to some of the Arturo Fuentes. Uh, I've had some Fuentes that just roll on for, you know, the, the length of your smoke. You can get a big, beautiful ash, but to be completely honest with you, if the tobacco smoked and it's just clinging onto my cigar, really don't care about it other than the fact that it shows some really nice construction but from the color of this ash there's a little less iron content in the soil where Jesus is growing and I know Jesus has uh, factories in Honduras and Nicaragua or rolling operations I should say make it sound like some steel mill powered by coal poop Another thing I want to touch on with the cigar is it produces a nice cool smoke. It dissipates heat really well. If you take your cigar and you hold your hand over top of it and you can just feel the heat rolling off in it, it's usually a good sign that 
it's dissipating fairly well, which is why I prefer Toro size as opposed to some of the 60 ring gauges that people are getting into right now. The 60s are just too much. They hold too much heat and really just, it's really just personal preference. And I really don't need something hanging out of my mouth that makes my manhood look small because I'm insecure. Sue me. But I'm going to touch up and uh, finish out my review on this smoke because there's no way in hell you guys should have to watch a 10 minute video just to find out if you should get the cigar or not. So, the Jesus Fuego Sangre de Toro. I recommend highly the Toro size. Um, if they don't have it, the, uh, the Robusto or Corona will work. Um, I do like the ratio of filler to wrap relief on this cigar, especially in the Toro size, which I'm not sure what Jesus' Toros run size-wise. I think they're like 6.5 by 52, 54 in that area. Not too big, but they're a lovely cigar. I would recommend going out to your local tobacconist and walking in the humidor and grabbing one of these babies. You won't be disappointed. Well, YouTube, I'm Kyle. I appreciate you watching my review. Have a nice day.